there's two issues here. I'm curious as you, for your take as someone in sports media, someone who was at ESPN, there seems to be a backlash there about Pat McAfee. Mm. I find it a little bizarre because I get what ESPN's trying to do. They're trying to bring in a new audience. Pat's got a younger audience, a different audience. And there's a lot of rumblings, a lot of leaks, it seems like, anti-McAfee stuff coming out. Let's start with that, and then I have a second part. What do you? What is your? Have you been following that? Do you have a take on it? I don't have a. I haven't followed it, but okay. I know a lot of what happened with Pat was he was an underdog, started out, then all of a sudden gaining success, and then more success, and then he was doing wrestling. I mean, he was he was doing everything he needed to do to build his brand, mm-hmm. and then he left and went to ESPN. ESPN had just let people go. Oh my gosh, they're paying him that that amount of money. So there's backlash maybe there. And I don't know what kind of dripped over into college game day because let's face it, with Coach Corso, how long is he going to be on there on the set? And they're looking for somebody who has a dynamic personality. Herbie and Desmond don't have that dynamic personality. They're football guys. Reese Davis does an incredible job as a host. So what is that entertainment value? Who's going to be that guy? And Pat, and sometimes you may consciously or subconsciously not realize you're trying too hard. And I don't know if people have a backlash because, you know, they may feel like Pat's trying to be the villain or trying to be the agitator. I I find him incredibly smart. I find him interesting. He's funny. Um, He has changed the whole dynamic with this. And, um, but as far as you know, who likes him or doesn't like him, all I know is I grew up in the era of Howard Cosell, and 50% loved him and 50% hated him, but 100% were tuning in for him. Yep. That's the famous Howard Stern private part scene there about his listeners. Um, and what do you think of him? The story came out that he pays Aaron Rodgers for the weekly interview. Well, there's a lot of local radio shows that do this. Right. A lot of big-time radio shows who pay people money to show up. Um, it just, it, you know, are you a journalist or not? And Pat's not a journalist. He's an entertainer. And I do think that journalism is really with small letters now. I don't think there's a lot of people who a- aspire to be journalists anymore. You know, Bob Lee may be the last true journalist in this business. Or Jeremy Schapp. I mean, people that I worked with. But I don't know, you know, I don't know people think that you can make a great living by being a journalist. You got to be an entertainer. You got to get clicks and you got, so it's, it's, it's exploded and whatever Pat's approach is to entertainment and you want to pay somebody to come on fine. Um, I'm not tuning in for journalism with Pat. I'm tuning in for uh, entertainment. And if he wants to have Aaron Rodgers on um, and Aaron Rodgers wants to say whatever he wants to say, I mean, that's Pat's show and Pat's audience. And ESPN has to answer for that. Me? It doesn't matter. I haven't been there in 17 years. Well, do you think ESPN is off the hook in a little way, in a little bit of a way where they, um, now my brain is frying and I'm not remembering the phrasing. They just simulcast Pat's show. Like they don't own Pat's show. Like Pat still owns his show. It's more of a Pat's renting space sort of on ESPN type of deal. Does that take any well who's paying uh, espn yeah then it's yeah. espn yeah. so the last thing on this the other criticism pat gets from some people is that he doesn't push back on rogers i now me personally i wouldn't expect him to given what that interview is yeah i'm curious you know if you think he should be pushing back when rogers is saying some things that some people don't agree with i, I don't want to program <laughs> anybody's show jimmy because yeah. It's his show. It's his interpretation. He's not programming mine. Nobody else is programming. And I wouldn't want them. I mean, you may be critical of how I do it or I don't have hot takes. That's fine. This is this is how I want to do it. This is who I am. And that's who Pat is. Would I like to see him push back? Yeah. If Aaron was on my show, would there be pushback? Yeah. But I was brought up in a different era. I mean, I'm 30 years older than Pat McAfee. I came in at CNN, you know, doing things where the product was most important and you had to be a journalist and approach it that way. Pat didn't, you know, he was a punter. 
And all of a sudden he's got a show and he's making millions of dollars. And I got Nick Saban and Aaron Rodgers, and I'm going to have them on and I'll compensate them. Fine. Uh, I don't care. I'm I'm blown away. I don't know if you faced this because I never felt like you had that many detractors. But I'm just I'm blown away. And there's so many people like this. And you we we mentioned before. I'm just so I'm just blown away by the people that don't like something and watch it. Just blows my mind away. <laughs> I don't I re- get it. Oh, well, I remember, uh, you know, for a long time with with Howard Stern, people mm. would say, you know, I can't believe you like Howard Stern. I said, have you listened? And they'll go, no. And I'll go, well then. How can you say that they had an impression of Howard? And right. I said, just listen. You know, he does right. say a, a lot of things, you know, people that, that he stands up for and groups he stands up for. And yeah, are there times when, uh, you know, it's cringy? Yes. But I, I mean, people who don't listen to certain music and I'll go, have you tried it? No, no, no. I know I wouldn't like it. And I'll go, well, try it. And then if you don't, then fine. But right. I think we get caught up in somebody's going to tell you what to like or not like. Therefore, you're not going to fight through it and go, you know what? Maybe let me form my own opinion on something. Right. Well, my bigger issue is the people who try it, dislike it, and then still watch it and then complain about it. Just don't watch <laughs> it. You'll be much happier. 